money-grubbing Wasserman busted in ruthless scheme to steal a whopping $4 million from Dying Man by Amanda Shea for Freedom Daily. A job on Capitol Hill affords a lot of people a lot of incredible advantages. Not only are they paid pretty well to do the job of lawmaker, but they gain all kinds of political clout because of the office that they hold. While we'd like to think that every person we send to represent us in Washington, D.C., is there for the sole purpose of making America a better place, History has proven time and again that with many, many politicians, they're more likely to be looking out for their own interests than ours. Such is the case with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. This former chair of the Democratic National Committee has been embroiled in legal troubles ever since it was discovered that she continued to employ Imran Awan, an IT staffer who was under a federal investigation for alleged equipment and data scam. This was ob obviously problematic for many who consider the information on the congressional hard drives to be something of value. As it turns out, Schultz isn't the only one in the family to be caught with their hands in the cookie jar. Wasserman Schultz's husband, Steve Schultz, is now also in deep legal troubles over his desire to acquire the property that a certain elderly man wasn't ready to let go of, Daily Mail reported in details of Schultz's misadventures, and he reads like a novel. The villain is almost pushing an older person down on their luck to give him money, hungry banker, to give the money, hungry banker, what he wants to increase his own bottom line. The husband of former Democratic National Committee Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz is being accused of trying to rip off an elderly commercial property owner and threatened him in the process according to a lawsuit recently filed in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Banker Steve Schultz, husband of the scandal-prone U.S. Congresswoman for 26 years, allegedly tried to have 70-year-old investor Frank D. Maria hand over the deed of his troubled $4 million commercial property in Pompano Beach, Florida to Schultz personally, according to the complaint obtained ex exclusively by DailyMail.com, because D. Maria was having troubles pay, uh, trouble paying on credit lines and mortgages, Schultz is now defunct Community Bank of Broward, would eventually launch the foreclosure of D. Maria's property on the heavily traveled Atlantic Boulevard beachfront area. De Maria says Schultz tried to intimidate him into surrendering his property to him without the proper foreclosure proceedings in a court of law. Isn't that precious? Isn't that precious? Even a hint of impropriety of this sort could mean the end of a political career for anyone associated with it, especially if the lawmaker in question know what was going on. However, many of our representatives have gotten such an inflated God complex that they seem to not understand that no means no. Sometimes that even transfers to those around them, as it did in this case, the narrative goes on. Mr. Schultz called Mr. De Maria and proposed that he sign the Pompano Beach property over to Mr. Schultz personally, the lawsuit reads. Mr. D. Maria replied by stating, are you out of your mind? Mr. Schultz replied by stating no and further stating something to the effect of no matter how big a lawyer you get or how many, I will destroy you and them and you know I have the power to do it. In an exclusive interview, Schultz told DailyMail.com that D. Maria knows he is married to Wasserman Schultz and is using that fact for effect. Mr. De Maria knows I'm married to Debbie, so he might believe in some big conspiracy theory involving me and Debbie, Schultz said. But that's not the case. I couldn't personally seize his property, even if I wanted to. 
he is a crazy old guy who cost the bank a lot of money. Eventually, we had to sell his mortgage to another party at a $200,000 loss. Schultz blamed Di Maria's heavy Italian accent and lack of proficiency in English for the misunderstanding. But I never asked that he deed the property to me. Besides, I'm not interested in commercial properties. Di Maria's lawyer said the case was in its infancy and declined to comment. He confirmed he had Schultz served with the complaint at the house Schultz shares with the congresswoman and their three children. Let's see how many 70-year-old businessmen do you know who live in Florida have such trouble with English that they're barely able to communicate with those around them. Not many. It seems suspicious that Di Maria would have such an incredible pre piece of property wanted by so many if he were incapable of communicating with those around him. Uh, what does uh, seem entirely probable is that the husband of an already proved crooked congresswoman might try to use the power to strong arm someone they thought they could manipulate into giving them what they wanted. The Schultz already live in a $700,000 home in the Fort Lauderdale suburban sprawl of Weston. And while there's nothing wrong with that, it's clear that they're no strangers to getting what they want. Sadly, this is what we have come to in the United States. People so drunk on power that they would prevent their mission uh, pervert their mission, excuse me, and take what they want for themselves, leaving innocent civilians to fend for themselves. Thankfully, this citizen is standing up for himself and willing to become a target to make the money hungry pay for their sins. I believe the old guy. Yes, he did go after him. Yes, absolutely. No doubt about it. These people are criminal. And they have the Clintons, too. So there you have it. There you have it. And uh, that old guy better be careful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.